Let's come on, so we're going to just come in. Wait, so is he actually here that demolish this place? Um, it's not. That's a big question. I do not know the chairman. Okay, our 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 yeah, our our, our chairman. Yeah, he's there inside. Which side? Are you rolling? Are you rolling? You can never start up. You don't start up. You see how? You never start up. This is where they demolish. I won't call them. Don't be through phone. I'll call them when they talk to me. If I want that phone, you know? Now my phone. Yeah, I'm going to sit back. Okay. It's from AF. That's what you're doing. Yeah, uh, first of all, my name is Komle Dabiola, uh, and I'm working at Shop 130 Warehouse. What transpired is that we, I just got a call this morning that they are demolishing UTC. Yeah, actually over the times, we know that the case has been in court. And uh, last week, they arrested some of the members of this market, and uh, after the court hearing, the, the court case was in favor of UTC. So, to surprise, for us to wake up today and begin to see demolition and all those things is sincerely unspeakable. So, and uh, if Mr. President is listening to us, this, this is what I want to say that demolition this place it has economical negative impact on FCT, on the country, because what we are producing here, or what we are doing here, is circulating the country. This place has been a source of employment for youth in Abuja here. I must be sincere. Both ladies, guys, even some elderly people, they are making their living through this market. Now, they demolish this place without any alternative. Where did they want us to go? That I'm expecting an adequate provision. Uh, we have a little issue up here, and the place could not be solved. I'm expecting a something tangible. You understand? A lot of information I hear about the market, in which if media can do a thorough investigative journalism about it, they will uncover a lot of things. So, what was the issue, you know, that, uh, that made the FCBA to come into this market? Is it because it's not in the proper location, or is it because of the kind of persons that are operating here? What do you know about the issue? Yeah, thank you on that question. When the uh, FCDA, I want to ask you a question. Is it true that it's FCDA that performed this as action? Because FCDA cannot demolish there, where they are asking people to pay ground rent 
and service charge. So if it's FCDA, then who are the people collecting ground rent and service charge from people? The, can you hear that? Yesterday, that they should pay service charge. So if, if I'm living in your house and you know that you sell a house, you know that you have already sold the house, but you are asking me, occupant of your house, to be paying uh, house rent, what can we call that? <laughs> it's criminal. So to me, I, I want us to do a thorough investigation to this issue to know, is it truly that FCDA are the one behind this? All people that are called themselves Kabada, Kabada, they are above the law. They believe that nobody, they are untouchable because they have the money, they have the connection, they have the power. Therefore, they can do and undo. This is a center of a business. We, we should understand that in every country where they do printing press, you don't need to beautify it. I have opportunity to have a discussion with some people and they said this place that the money they are generating in this place, if they should make it all stay, they will generate more money. This is a printing press. Play that is our work I've, I personally have done a work that they took they took to UK. This is not Nigeria again. Now now imagine uh, doing work that are sent to Bruno, do work that are sent to, majority of governor poster banner have been done here. So now what are you what are our future? What are, what are the things that is going to be on ground for us? My name is Comrade Abiola. Abiola. Yes sir. Abiola. Sunday. Abiola Sunday. Yeah. You can ask my my Let me say that the real problem we have is that uh, there is no synergy between the people who want to remodel the complex and the traders themselves. There was no synergy because uh, at a time you discover that the people who intend to remodel have already probably getting the award letters. And there has no alternative. They don't want to do anything than to equip, to eject people here. So what we are saying is that, in essence, if we are going to do such fatal ejection, there should be an alternative for the people. You can imagine, this is the whole of Nigeria. There is no tribe in this country that doesn't have a stake here. You come suddenly and you chase away the whole people, unexpectedly. To me, it's too painful. They don't have what we call human feelings at all. I would have preferred that the president of this country should look at the masses here after all, His Excellency came from the Masses tribe. He came from Lagos. And he knows what it takes to suffer people this way. There must be palliative for the people that are having stakes here. The entire nation, the entire Nigeria. From south, south, from southeast, from south, northeast. The entire country are here having their stake. It is too painful. Nigerians don't expect this kind of situation. We are appealing to the president of this country to look at the plight of Nigerians in UTC. Area serving shopping complex. This is the heart of the nation. If you come unexpectedly to demolish this kind of setup, it means anything can happen in this country. I'm just appealing to Mr. President to help the Nigerians masses at Area 7 shopping complex. It is behind, behind comprehension. It is traumatizing that why Nigerians are waiting for amelioration for the fuel subsidy removed. Suddenly, we wake up on Saturday to demolish a place that harbored people for more than 30 years unexpectedly. It is too painful. Look at Nigeria. Look at Nigeria. Tell me the tribe in this country that are not happily represented this place. We are saying it's too painful. 
However, they concord it because for me it is concussion. You can lay hands on uh, the FCT, you can lay hands on the development control, you can lay hands on the presidency. It is combination of the entire government that decide to hurt this painful, painful, unexpected, traumatizing situation. We are all traumatized. We are appealing to the president to set up intervention committee at UTC because why I'm saying this is that we are begging people in the bush to come outside the bush. Now, where are you going to send these masses? You want to send them back to Bush? More than 3 million Nigerians unexpectedly demolish their sources of income. It is too painful. We are crying to the government. We are trying to the president of this country to intervene on behalf of the masses. I don't know what to say than to ask you. Nigerians begin to cry. Cry now, let people see that you are giving. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at Nigerians. Are they not crying? My name is Honorable Otumba Nathan. Uh, for the environment that it was just last year, of the last two years, we saw Abuja urban shelter signposts being mounted at that place. We are so surprised. At the time, people started panicking. What is it? What is it? They said they sold this, stuff, this place off. We've been hearing the rumor. But as of last year, that was when the notice came that they want to relegate us to a certain place. And that place, we went to the place and we looked at that place, and that Very place small. is not convenient for us. Very small. And, I want to, and I want to tell us here that this place, I can't just say it's a printing nation, but it's a printing state. It's more than a printing state. Even the whole Fed, in the whole Federation, this is where they print these things here. UTC printing markets. And here, Igbo, all tribes are all here. And they have us more than 3 million people here. Some people depend on their daily bread here. Now, look at the other place they want to relocate us, that they cannot accommodate up to 90 people. With heavy machine, there's one called the DTO, a cord machine. And the GMO machine. GMO can take a, a that is, I don't know what others, uh, uh, like a something fits. Where do they want us to go? You see, it's part this thing that happened today is a big slap on the judiciary. And the judiciary, we believe there's a common place for a, it's a, it's a, it's a place for a common man. This case is in the court of law against the uh, Abuja Investment Company, FCDA, the FCT minister and the Abuja Market Management. The case is still in the courts up to now. And I'm so surprised when I woke up, I came from a normal business, I saw the place being demolished. And now I want to ask the federal government of Araja, Abi, FCD and Abuja Investment, where do they want us to go? go. As my former, I mean, my, my BOT member said, in the respect of our tumba, he said, where do people the FCD or government want us to go. Is it to go to the bush and join the kidnappers? Or is it to go to the bush to join the, uh, the henchmen or the bandits? Where? Look at the people that depends on their daily distance us here. I don't know. We are talking of criminals, so and so. And look at what is going on here. We are still pleading to the president who have just been sworn in. In the person of um, um, uh, Ahmed, President Ahmed Bolatinibu, to please help us. To please come to our aid and help us. This thing is getting too much for us. Where did they want us to go? I have a family, likewise, other people here. And school fees we have not paid. House rent we have not paid. And all that is not paid. What is happening here in this country? Where did they want us to go? Did they want us to carry gun? If that was the want us, we can do that. And they do not blame us to do that. No, 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 no. This is getting too much, my friends. We are pleading to the we are pleading to the federal government. Oh God, my name is Armen Okadibo. My name to be so Okoye. And that's my name. Okoye Okadibo. Welcome, sir. Well done. I don't know. Hey. They say that this morning, 
Okay. Head is good, no. So why is it that it's, it's now that uh, they just do mm. that? So even people in the FCC, they cannot know. Let me do, let me do something. Still, we will be taking place. Now, yeah, they have no, 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 no. Oh, wow. So, is it the last minute uh, 